In the ancient land of Egypt, the Hebrew people suffered under the oppressive rule of Pharaoh. Amidst this turmoil, a child named Moses was born to Hebrew parents, destined for a remarkable fate. To protect him from Pharaoh's decree to kill all Hebrew baby boys, Moses' mother placed him in a basket and set him adrift in the Nile River. By divine providence, Pharaoh's daughter discovered the infant and adopted him as her own son, raising him within the splendor of Pharaoh's palace as an Egyptian prince. As Moses grew, he became aware of his dual identity as both an Egyptian prince and a Hebrew by birth. Despite his privileged upbringing, Moses felt a growing sense of solidarity with his enslaved kin. One day, while witnessing the brutal treatment of Hebrew slaves, Moses intervened and inadvertently killed an Egyptian overseer. Fearing for his life, Moses fled into the wilderness, where he encountered God in the form of a burning bush. It was then that God revealed to Moses his divine purpose, to return to Egypt and lead the Hebrew people out of bondage. Armed with the command of God, Moses stood before Pharaoh, demanding the release of the Hebrew slaves. At first, Pharaoh resisted, his heart hardened against the pleas and the signs from the Almighty. But as each plague swept through Egypt, from the waters turning to blood to swarms of frogs, lice or gnats, wild animals or flies, pestilence upon livestock, and darkness shrouding the land for three days, Pharaoh's resolve wavered. Yet, it was the tenth and final plague that pierced his soul, the death of the firstborn. Devastated by this unimaginable loss, Pharaoh relented, finally allowing Moses and the Israelites to depart from Egypt. The weight of sorrow and despair hung heavy in the air as the Hebrew people embarked on their journey to freedom, their hearts filled with both hope and trepidation for the trials that lay ahead. Following their departure from Egypt, Pharaoh's heart hardened once again, and he regretted his decision to let the Israelites go. Gathering his armies, he set out in pursuit of the fleeing Hebrews, determined to bring them back under his control. Caught between the vast expanse of the Red Sea and Pharaoh's advancing armies, the Israelites faced imminent doom. In their moment of desperation, Moses performed a miraculous act, the parting of the Red Sea. With a mighty wind and the power of divine intervention, the waters parted, creating a path of dry land through the midst of the sea. With Pharaoh's armies closing in, the Israelites hurriedly crossed the seabed, their hearts filled with awe and gratitude for the miraculous deliverance they were experiencing. As they reached the safety of the opposite shore, the waters rushed back, engulfing Pharaoh's armies in a watery grave. As the Hebrews journeyed through the wilderness, Moses ascended Mount Sinai, where he received the laws of God engraved upon stone tablets. These tablets contained the Ten Commandments, a set of moral and religious laws given by God to guide the Israelites in living righteous lives and maintaining a harmonious relationship with God and each other. This monumental event, the parting of the Red Sea, stands as a testament to the power of faith and the unwavering providence of God. It is a defining moment in the Exodus narrative, symbolizing the triumph of righteousness over oppression and the enduring belief that with God, all things are possible.